Russia to see regime change within five years. Khodorkovsky. Mikhail Khodorkovsky, Putin's critic in exile, believes that the war in Ukraine will ultimately prove fatal for the Russian regime, but that a Ukrainian victory may be facilitated by regime change in Russia. At the same time, he is concerned about the cracks that have appeared in the Western camp regarding further support for Ukraine. The Russian government critic and leader of the Open Russia NGO told about this in an interview with La Figaro. I believe only a regime change in the Kremlin will allow Ukraine to regain its territory and return to the borders of 1991. And I'm convinced that the regime change in Russia will take place in the next five years, Khodorkovsky noted. He explains the differences in the West regarding the support for Ukraine in the war by the lack of real political leaders, suggesting there are only political representatives. In a situation of war that Europe is experiencing today, a leader is needed who can explain to their people that they need to fundamentally change their mentality. Winston Churchill, Helmut Kohl and Willy Brandt had this ability. Russia's former wealthiest man also suggests that if Western aid is halted and Russia wins, Putin will get no political and economic capital and be forced to start a new war. According to NATO's best scenario, this new war will start in the west of Ukraine. In the worst case, it will rage on the territory of a NATO member state. According to Khodorkovsky, the oligarchs do not have sufficient leverage to promote regime change and a military coup is possible only in case of a significant defeat on the battlefield. Then, in search of a scapegoat, some generals may rebel. At the same time, it is useless to hope for the opposition forces in Russia since they have all been sentenced to substantial prison terms. Everyone I know who is in prison in Russia today has had his prison term extended because no matter what you did, put up posters or set fire to the military draft office, you will spend the rest of your life in prison. He also refuted the belief of some Western figures that regime change could be achieved without violence.